Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Mini True Nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost, where you join me here at Oberland Station, which I now own and don't pay any attention to any of the, the bodies that may or may not be up there. This is probably the last time we're going to be in friendly territory for a while, because now the great journey south begins. See, my journey basically falls into three steps at this point. Starting from Oberland Station, where I've now just managed to get some rest and some food and some water, and I'm well supplied for the journey ahead, for the minute at least, I now need to head back over to, yeah, the territory to the south of uh, Fort Hagen, where close by to the Boston Mayoral Shelter, probably about here-ish is where I'm aiming at, there are a couple of military sheds with one suit of power armor. Terrible quality power armor, but I'm not interested in the damage resistance. I'm interested in the rad resistance. We then basically take that power armor and we walk it south, barely even a small distance to here. This is the Natick area, which, yeah, the base game is a bit of a war zone. So uh, there might be problems. We might need to rethink this. However, this is going to be the easiest final save spot before we enter the Glowing Sea because there's the Natick Motel... I think it might be that block there or thereabouts. And then it's into the Glowing Sea. Not a long journey into the Glowing Sea, but we're going to need to be uh, careful for various reasons. We'll go into that more when we get there. Let's kick off for today. <laughs> oh, blimey. I have a feeling this is going to take more than one attempt. This could go horribly wrong yet. So let's keep things moving along nice and quickly here because the first steps at least... We know where we're going. It should be quiet. It should be safe. So, over the bridge and careful because ghouls, well, there are ghouls in this area. They may or may not spawn close by to there. In fact, actually, for safety, I'll take this half of the bridge because the ghouls are over there in the flooded town whose name I've completely forgotten. So if I just stay over here, that should be fine because this is the direction I want to go in towards the highway. I need to be careful not to get too close to Fort Hagen, however, because I still don't have an answer to that vertebrate, but it's fine. Yeah, that will be some ghouls over there. Uh, but bear in mind, no, it might not be. Yeah, it's probably that trader. Good. So I found my way straight back to the friendly trader. Now, if I'm very, very, very lucky, and I've been very good in a previous life, there's a possibility... He might have some antibiotics, but bare minimum, he does have a bed that I can use right here. So I found my way back here, nice and quick. Right, let's me and you have a chat. Okay, he's got himself two booze. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, as I do have a fair bit of money on me. But tragically, no medicine. That is a shame. Anything I could use in terms of... No, no good ammo. Anything I need in terms of honesty, I can't think of anything I'd need in terms of junk. I'm right up to the limit right now. I can't think of anything I'd want. No. No, fine. So, I could take the booze. Purely as I'm already addicted. So, I may as well just basically take Rad's minus 20 insanity up too. So, how much for these, by the way? That is 32 for both. Sure, that's a fair deal. Now, that puts me straight overweight. But if I just do one immediately, that puts me down to, yeah, 116 out of 120. And as a result of that, the moment that wears off, I just do another one. Basically, I've just traded uh, minus 20 rads for 32 money, which strikes me as a decent trade, as there really are not that many traders in the world. Right, save down at that sleeping bag as well. Now it's time for the more interesting bets. Now, hang on. Where was the O-flip? Where exactly is Fort Hagen? I can see the road here. I need to find the road that leads up there. Yeah, there's the sign. I think this bit of the countryside was nice and quiet. So I just need to find the sign there and then start skirting off to the left to skirt around the outside of Hagen to make sure I come nowhere near that vertebird that likes murdering people because, yeah, there's the turn off. Okay. So now we loop round here. And if we're very lucky, maybe we find a deer or two. Because it wouldn't... Yeah, that's definitely where I've been through before. Because that's the giant rocket I blew up the first time I passed. Now, hang on. Which building is what here? Because if that's the... Oh. I'm um, closer to the... Yeah, the hospital or of the blood clinic. Was ghouly. Best I avoid that. And I think there might have been... Yeah, one rad roach I just never killed 
in this found. Okay. Interesting. Who's found me that's not hostile? Possibly like that rad roach. I think I saw one in here. Yeah, there you are. Is that is that you? Yeah, there you go. Right, okay, just finish. I is is he there? Well, he was. This is quite frankly weird. Fine. So, power armor. Let's have a little look see at this. So, yes indeed. A right leg and a torso. Now that's not much, but it's 450 points of rad resistance. It will flipping do. Uh, any chance I can actually... No, I probably can't do anything in terms of crafting. No, there's probably not much I can do here. Now, before I actually go in here, however, let's just quickly check whether this thing is safe as an exit point. This looks safe, though while I'm passing through, I want to do as little looting as possible. I want to get in that power armor. I need to be pretty much going in a straight line. That's irradiated, buff out. Thought that was money, but tragically not. And the booze has worn off, so just do the next one. And there we are, happily drunk once again. Okay. Let's get back over there. Now, I really, really, really cocking hope that I've managed to drop enough, uh, yeah, weight when I get rid of the fusion core that I can wear this power armor. Because otherwise I need to make some really tough decisions right now. Because I've made it here faster than I was expecting. <laughs> because, yeah, I know the route. So once you know the route, that's parched. Good! That means I can drink some water. So, transfer one fusion core over there. In it goes. Now that should get my weight down to 104. Now please... Please let this work. In we go. Because the moment I step in, all my pocket gear and my backpack don't count for anything anymore. Am I overweight? I am... No. No, I think it's fine. It said it for a second, then I think it changed its mind. Because we are definitely moving at full speed. Okay, I think we're good. But wait, we've got a problem. I'm only good because of the booze. Right now, I've got strength plus one going on. And also, hang on, what happened to the rest of my illnesses? Did they just... What? Hang the flip on. Where are the rest of my diseases? Like, I don't mind the fact I don't have lethargy anymore, but I totally did. Well, diseases actually do wear off over time. It's just, I was kind of expecting it to tell me when they did. But, okay. Apparently, I only have fatigue these days. If that would like to wear off too, that'd be magnificent. But the problem is, my strength is being boosted from default 11 to 12 by the booze. When the booze wears off, I drop down to... Uh, yeah, 95. So I am three weight over capacity. Hopefully I'll get hungry and I can just eat a ribeye steak. So that's one accounted for already. Alright, now let's be on our way. And let's also keep in mind, I need to not sprint. Not use vats while I'm in the suit. If I'm fighting... I need to be not in the suit to do it. This fusion core needs to be carefully coaxed into surviving long enough to get me into the glowing sea and back again. If I need to fight and I need to vats, we abandon the suit, we do it outside of the suit. Now, let's quickly check the map here. So my first destination is, yeah, directly to the south of me. Somewhere around this sort of route, probably best I stay off the road to be honest. Let's just put a marker down there. Natic, for the final save before we hit the glowing sea. And yeah, I don't know what's here and this unnerves me a little bit. But in all fairness, I have a save at the trader who's like over, I don't know, here-ish somewhere. Probably about here. So running just around here, getting the armor and doing it again is not the biggest time loss in the world. Let's also get out my best quality weapon here. So, keep it moving. Natick is close. Really close. There should be a road here. There's the road that leads into Natick. Alright. Weapons up here. It's a bit misty. Something is vaguely semi-detecting me. There's actually a road I could snipe from up there. Except I'm not sure I really want to spend the time doing that. I mean, look at that. 
that fusion core is already noticeably starting to slowly tick down. Okay. That's pretty much what I didn't want to see. I mean, there were ghouls in the base game. I shouldn't be surprised, but that's not Natic. That's something close by to Natic. Okay. I mean, on the plus side, that is... Hang on. This is not what I was expecting at all. Ah, right. Yes, we're still some distance from Natic. This is just a... A something. Okay. Let's just skirt around the outside of this. Skirt around the outside and not get detected, despite the fact I'm wearing massive clunky power armor, because this is not what I want. This is, uh, which one's this? Not mass fusion disposal something, that's up north. Uh, some form of water treatment or sewage something or another. Or, uh, you see that? That's what I want over there. Okay, ah, and there, unfortunately, the booze has worn off. Now I'm in a bit of trouble. 98 out of 95. How are we going to solve this then? Okay, in terms of food, I've got myself the omelette, two roasted milo meat, and the ribeye steak. So I've got seven items of food, but I'm not sure this is that good food. And the food is relatively light. I'm probably carrying about uh, 5.1, but I think it's exactly 5.1 weight in food. Uh, water, I'm carrying eight. However, if I'm going to want to do a Radex before I enter the Glowing Sea, which is probably a good idea, that's... Ooh, interesting. Oh, that's nice. 480 rad resistance. That's very, very nice indeed. I tried to just drop the helmet to get rid of it, but here's an interesting thing. If I haven't got the helmet installed, my weight goes up to 101 out of 95. If I install it, my weight's at 98. Because <laughs> right now, it officially weighs zero. Because of reasons. Okay, I've eaten one steak, drunk one water, and dropped a bunch of drugs. That should be enough to keep me going. Though it's a shame I don't have enough booze to keep me going, but screw it, it'll have to do. And yes, indeed, we're back to moving, so... Oh. Flipping careful. I do not want those ghouls activating on me. Keep heading on here. Right. This is... I think... Actually, this is good. Survivor. Good. I want to say good. No, that's not power armor. That's fine. If it's just survivors over here, that is no problem at all. Now, it looks like he's got a rocket launcher or similar. So, let's just quickly take you down. And, oh, that was an arm shot. Don't fire. And don't miss me. Okay. He's dead. And, interestingly... No one else is moving in, though that is possibly because that weapon is silenced. I doubt he'd be alone. Yeah, he just had a basic missile launcher. There's another bloody fusion core. Actually, I could trade out this fusion core for that one. That would probably be a good idea. Oh, someone else is here. That's not your lot yet. Okay, do this manually. All right, no VAT shots. This needs to be done manually. Now, where is everyone. Looks like there's not a way in there. Fine. Actually, let's just quickly check this, because if that is actually a fusion core, then I can just go in and burn this one and screw it, because after we've cleared out this, we can just put in that one, because, yeah, that's got to be full, because they're always full when you find them. Okay, that is not something I was expecting, but it's good. It's lucky. So, round the front here, swimming pool. No sign of trouble around there. Unless, of course, there's just... Because I don't want to clear this place out. I just want to drop a save. Let's just quickly... Now I know that we've got a spare fusion core to hand. Let's just check the houses around here. Oh! One dog. Nothing major. Just take one shot there. You go down, my good man. Okay. Oh! Searching. Okay, go over to the gun I've got plenty of ammo for. And also one that is conveniently silenced. Probably just another dog, to be honest. Okay, we've got... Oh, oh, uh-oh, I'm kind of falling through the floor. Okay. Bed, skeletons. Check for second dog. In case pack. Not pack. Now, look out the windows here. Okay, so, 
death claw, 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 death claw. There was a death claw here. In you know the, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna say it's fine. It's it's not great. There are better things, and sadly I can't get through here. Okay. I might actually be able to kill it. It's not impossible. But it's it will be a waste of ammo. How much have I got here? That is 25 shots. I mean, if I hit it in the belly every time, maybe. Now, where is it? Where's it just gone? Because if it would like to, like, you know, wipe out all the others for me, that would be great. That's just a church there. I think, with the amount of buildings in the way and the amount of upstairs areas, I can just work around him. Because I definitely don't want to kill him. Just because it's a waste of ammo. But still, this is a concerning development. Let's just uh, put it like that. This was a Deathclaw spawn area. This was a Deathclaw spawn area in the base game. So I'm not surprised. Okay. Let's head out the back door here. Wherever he is, he's naffed off. Okay, he's not close by to me now. Let's just get ourselves... Is that a way up onto the roof, by the way? Can I use that, or is that just... No, that's just from within. Okay, let's clear out the motel. Let's drop a save. And then let's figure out how we're going to get past the death claw. Because that is mildly concerning. Right, who's at the front gate, if anyone? I see someone right there. That's going to be a one-shot kill against you. So just wait. Wait, wait, and... Boom. Two dead. So far, they don't know where I am. Okay. Someone's still alive, but these are basic humans. Basic humans don't do well against this laser gun. Okay, at least two, because I just heard a male voice and a female voice yelling. The game doesn't get that confused, or at least not most of the time. So, I've got at least two to kill. And, oh, I think I see one of them right there. Supposedly, a tough guy. Alright. Stick around the outside. Let's see if we can get close to him for a headshot. From here, I might be able to... Oh, yeah, there's the two. Hang on. They're right next to each other. Go, grenade. Show your face. Come on. No, that was way, way, way too far. That's a shame. Uh, that was a waste of a grenade. You know, I can probably just vats them. Probably. Where are they? I can't quite see that. Can't see their location. You're right there. And now the screen's flickering for no well-explained reason. And now, yeah, you're over there. Okay. You know what? I want to... Yes. What the... Again, that did nothing, but screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. Go, 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 go. Wait, 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 wait. And... Oh. Dead. Okay, now there's only one. Now there's only one. Just go and invats her. Because she was the less dangerous one. Where are you? Where are you? I saw you in here. Hello! Right, so you can just die now. And I think that's your lot. Boom, boom. Dead. Undetected. Okay. Cool. We've got... Ooh. Nuka grenade. Hello. That's quite powerful. And he's even got a Union Jack mask, which would be lovely, except probably doesn't actually properly protect you against the rads. Right, let's just quickly skim these guys for... Where did that corpse go? There was 100% a corpse there. Hang on, where did that just go? Game? That's cheating. Only turn my back on that for a second. Right, new bandage, which is fine. The rest of that we can do without... I think there was one more over. That's exactly the same person. You just walked around a corner to see them. This, however, is a different person. This was the hard one. And, okay. I've got grenades to replace the grenades I just threw away. So that's fine. And don't forget, they also had one up top. Uh, who I should be able to get to now who had a missile launcher, which is obviously useless. But please let this be an actual bad. Nice. I got ourselves a save point. Good. And also got... 
can do without... I can do without... Wait, why am I 94? Oh, it's probably because I did one water. Did I do a water when I got... No, I didn't. I'm not sure how I'm at 94 right now. Presumably ammo usage. In fact, why was I using this? This is my most powerful gun. That should have been saved. I should have been using the 10mm. Yeah, there was one guy up here who had himself. That is, yeah, the missile launcher. Fine. Uh, so, tiny bit of money. Missiles that weigh seven bloody... Yeah. You know what? No. I think we're good. Now. This area is safe for the time being. Let's just head over here, however. What have we got in terms of... Deathclaw watch. I don't see any movement that will be consistent with a deathclaw. Oh, maybe I did over there. Hang on, move over to this corner of the roof. I thought I might have seen the swish of a tail at the end there. That might have been a deathclaw tail. Nothing there now. Okay. Drop a save. We don't fight the deathclaw. We simply move around it after we swap out the fusion core for the other one. Because the other one's going to be 100%. So this actually works pretty nicely. Now the question is, do I actually want to get a proper sleep here? It's only 2.45 right now. 2.45 the same day after I had a full day's sleep. I should be okay because that's the edge of the glowing sea right there. I think we're okay for me to just take a really quick fake sleep, not a proper one. Sadly, I'll lose a tiny amount of... Ooh, the stuff at the back of the bed. I'll lose a tiny, tiny amount of uh, adrenaline, but only like 5%. It's not a big loss at all. So, auto-saving. I'm tired from lack of sleep. Right, never mind. <laughs> never mind. You know what? Maybe I will have a proper sleep here. It's okay. Though if I am about to have a proper sleep, let's actually do this all as it should be. Let's do all of the busy work I need to do now before we... Um... Okay. This is... Well, that's... <laughs> that's there. That's just a thing that's there that can't be interacted with for no well-explained reason. Good! I'm glad there's a thing I can't interact with for no well-explained reason right there. That's marvellous. And also, there's... There's a guy down here. In presumably shallow enough water it doesn't count for anything. Okay. Interesting. That is... Slightly mysterious and possibly in the base game. I may have just forgotten about it. Right. Before we actually sleep, because we want to do as little as possible once we're back in the power arm. When you're in the power armour, eyes on the prize. Alright, grab the fusion core now. So, this fusion core comes out. And that fusion core goes in. Marvellous. So just shove that in there, ready for the morning. Nice. And this fusion core can stay here in case I need a spare one on the way back for whatever reason. So we just store that there. Remember that's there. We can pick it up later. Now with that in place, yeah, let's just basically sleep... Screw it. Let's just sleep through to uh, the following morning. And I feel... Oh, I've picked up weakness again. <laughs> so the weakness is back, but the lethargy isn't. So everything's fine. Probably a bit. So priority at this point, probably skirt around to my left to stay away from where we've seen the death claw. And after that point, head pretty much straight south. Just straight at it. In fact, we've actually got a pretty nice day for this. Good. Probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for me to pretty much head, yeah, just straight out into the wastes to the southwest until that thing's pretty much due south. When that marker's due south, then I just walk south. That way, I'm going the most direct route and spending the smallest amount of time possible inside the glowing sea. I want to say that there's... Okay... There's some sheds I'd forgotten were here. Wait, no, hang on, what are these? And why am I walking towards something? Well, I'm walking away from the death claw. I assume, unless he lives up here. I don't think he lives up here. This is... What is that? What is that noise? What is that noise? What is that noise? What is that? That is the death claw. Right, so the death claw did live up here. Do, do we know where... Yeah, the death claw lived up here. So that's fine. This is why we do saves, people. This is why. Let's just see in theory how good am I versus the Deathclaw. Just, yeah, if you want to basically charge at me right now, 
Uh, no, 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 no. Then he just stabs me again. Okay, yeah, again, this is why he saves. Let's just shoot it in the belly a few times. Actually, you know what? That doesn't even do that bad. That's not too bad at all. We might even be able to kill this thing, albeit at the cost of, like, all my ammo and all my health. Or maybe not. See this here? This is why we wanted to drop that save. Because I knew Natick can be an utter flipping nightmare. So, I have seen a Deathclaw close by to the church. I have also seen a Deathclaw up top by the buildings up there. So how about we try and cut between the two? Because if I can just stay in a nice area where the brackets don't go nuts, that'll be fine. And if we run into a death claw in the glowing sea, then we cross that bridge when we come to it. Because I've no idea what we cocking do there. Well, actually, I do. If there's an absolutely unavoidable death claw, I basically just need to use Psycho Jet and then just nail it in the stomach over and over and over and over and over again. But it looks like this route of cutting between the town and the bit at the top might be all... Maybe not. Maybe I need to be a bit close to the town. How many cocking death claws are there around here? Now just keep moving slowly in this direction. Yeah, this this route seems to work. Stick between the town and the upper bit. And now just make a run south. I think we're safe. I think we're beyond Natick. And everything looks safe. Fine. So that's the route to take. Between the town and the bit on the outskirts of the town. But with a focus on heading... Yeah, a bit close to the town now. Brackets are still shuffling, however. There. Okay. We ain't done yet. At this point, yeah. The game is just throwing monster after monster at me. Now, how far do you wander, Mr. Bear? Because by any chance, would you like to naff off over there? And also, in theory, that's not that bad. I could crit that bear in the head and take out about half its health bar. I'd rather not. And it looks to me like your roaming range is really small. Okay, we need to find a solution for you. Now, we saw that the bear is on the low ground. What if I clamber up onto the high ground? I think I'm still far enough away from the Deathclaw, but if I now just... Yeah, now I'm beyond Deathclaw territory. Now I get to the rocks. What now if I now head for the high ground and basically make a break directly for the southwest? That's the Deathclaw space. Okay. But the brackets seem to be reassuring me. Okay, so if I need to do this again... Through the town, stick close to the town, don't go... Oh. That is exactly what I would have expected to see, to be honest. We're going towards the... Oh. Found by the... The bear's coming this way, 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 but right now he doesn't seem to mind me. Yeah, if I had to guess, I would have said, yeah, there's totally going to be ghouls in the glowing sea. Uh, and yet, okay, just, just, just chill out. We're just in the middle of bad things right now. The trees are all looking charred. That's probably a good sign we're almost there. Where were those ghouls? I just saw a couple of ghouls, but now I've lost sight of them. Which is concerning. Okay, so right now we are, yeah, pretty much right at the edge of what I deem to be likely radioactive territory. However, we're not doing so bad, and we have a good route. We've only covered this much territory, but actually, less than the territory we've just covered, again, which is not that far as the crow flies. Let's just try heading pretty much straight at it. Laser rifle out now. Oh, the rads are- uh-oh, the rads are going. The rads are up to ten already. Do a radex. Let's see what we can do. That parches me, but that's fine. This is... This is not good. 
This is much higher rad than I was expecting, and also something searching for me, but if I drop down here, it should lose interest. How long can I afford to be in this territory? Because it kind of feels like not long. I feel like that's just a couple of ghouls that were searching for me. There's a deer. Yeah, it's, it's plus 14 rads at the minute. Okay, I don't think I can afford to creep through this territory. This is not what I want, unfortunately. This here is a, a small bunker, or rather a federal supply cache, but... Okay, this, this isn't going to work. This is not going to work. I need to basically just do this at speed and get over to that. And also not get stuck on random bits of whatever. Okay. If I do this at speed... How, what, what? What is that? What? Hang on, let's just... Okay, let's just treat this as a scouting expedition. This is fine. And see how bad this is. Because if I basically just run directly in this direction, and also there's weird white plants everywhere, how how bad is it? And also, how far off is my marker? Because I feel like I'm miles off with my marker. There's just rats. That's nothing too major, to be honest. And there's... Also, now the deers are attack. Okay, if you guys want to attack each other, that's cool. That's 100% fine. The abandoned shack is a location. There it is. Okay. I might be willing to accept this. 30% of my health bar and rads isn't even that flipping bad. Uh, abandoned shack. Uh, get inside, because why not? Yeah, go, 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 go. Just, okay, what do you have on you? Anything? Anything of note? Anything of note? Screw it. Get inside. Oh, cock, of course it's locked, you bastard. Okay, got it first time. In we go. Okay. I think we just accept that. Alright, sure I've taken some damage and maybe a rat will teleport down in here with me. But, it's not the worst thing in the world. As I would have expected, yeah, the rats have been significantly stepped up. Or maybe I just normally come here with better quality power armor. One or the other, and... Okay. No sign of those guys coming after me. Step out of here, and if I'm very lucky... Then what will happen is, the game might gift me a free rad away here. Because, you know, it will be cruel otherwise, quite frankly. So, crack open. Crack open. Crack open. And... Okay. Anything here? No. One bandage, of course. Obviously, it'll be too much to hope that the game might give you some rad stuff there. Snubnosed 44. Alright. Best thing I've got going on right now is... I've taken about 30% of my health bar in rads. I can restore that with rad away. However, I should save that for the return trip. Because if I can do the same thing again, which is pretty much going to involve... Well, in all fairness, if I sprint and just say, screw it, I'll just burn the fusion core. Then I'll be okay. Now, obviously, there's something in here. Question is, what is it? Because <laughs> I think are there are beds in here. I don't know if there are. Or if there are, they're going to be down in the main area. Because what this area looks like is I'm going to come out at the top of a big area where I need to work my way down to the bottom. So on the plus side, I'll have the high ground, which is nice. Let's see what we got going on down here. Now, logic says it's going to be... U.S. Army Remnant, because that's the whole reason we came here, uh, was because a note from the U.S. Army Remnant said we should. Thirsty. Well, that's a good sign. Okay. Pull the circuit breaker. Get the lights on. What do we have here? What do we have? See, the problem is, the last time we took these guys on, let's just see if we can get eyes on. Oh. Yeah, lights all flickering on. Someone's in here. Last time, assuming it is you. And... Come on, you're around here somewhere. You see, that's the floor. Oh. Yeah, US Army remnants. Now, problem. Last time I fought these guys, I did it with a sniper rifle from 10 million miles away. So basically, I took them out before they could actually see what was going on. 
that's probably the best solution, isn't it? Yeah, it probably is. So let's actually get a shot in at you, and then we just back the hell off. All right, we get the shots in, we run the hell away. That's how we fight these guys, because I don't know how many there are yet, but if I use silence weaponry and back off over here, there's an excellent chance they'll never find me. So keep the maximized laser rifle for emergencies. Stick with the two silenced weapons if I can. And also, I've got a stealth boy. Stealth boy plus serrated Chinese officer sword, that could work too. Okay, let's just come down and have another little look see. The chance of the guy right down at the bottom finding his way up to the top strikes me as very low for a silent shot. In fact, that guy, I might just be able to shoot him in the leg over and over until he falls down dead. That'd be great. Now, the other alternative would be computers to maybe get some turrets or something on my side, but yeah. Odds are that'll be locked behind advanced hacking or something. Now, what else do we have here? I mean, something is closer than that guy at the bottom. I can be pretty confident of that, because the brackets are shuffling too much for there to not be. So we've got, oh, Enclave Scientist. Okay. Let's just quickly. Who's there? And back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. I'm surprised I didn't kill him, to be honest, but... Let's just finish these bastards off. Okay. You know, I never actually tried going up to them and saying, Hello! I'd like to help! But uh, I just kind of assumed that wouldn't work. The problem is, this very slow peeking in and out thing can only last so long because obviously my survival meters are ticking up at the same time. But the sooner we can start finishing off a few people, the less people there are to detect me. So where did you just go, my good man? There's another Enclave scientist, assuming I can get a shot against you, uh, which I'm going to assume I can. So let's just quickly... What? And then just back off again. I think... I just saw some movement down there. I think they've managed to make their way up top. They're not happy about the fact I've been repeatedly shooting them. In fact, there's... I think there's more... That's power armor. That's a power armor, laddie. He's already taken... He's taken some damage from somewhere. I'd rather not take you on unless you're determined to come this way, though. Okay, hang on. He might be. Are you going to step this way? Because if so, you could go straight into a nuke grenade. Come on. Just take another step forward here. But now he's standing there. I don't have a shot at the fusion core or his head. And now he's just there. Right, this is not good. Now there's just basically an... Oh. Now there's just basically an impenetrable barrier between me and the rest of that area. Well, this is going to be interesting. Because I could just basically shoot him repeatedly, but... How much damage am I going to do here? Let's assume one crit to start us off. Can't hit the head. So I could just basically shoot him in the torso. I could do some psycho jet. I might need to do some drugs here. Just for the sake of that. Yeah, drugs and then just enough shots. I could probably finish him off, but he's not alone. I saw more legs behind him. How close can I get to him? I mean, probably a little bit, but not too much. Okay. Let's just say... Plasma Grenade into Psycho Jet. Because this guy is effectively a boss, so... Throw into one dose of Psycho Jet. He starts backing off immediately. And I now basically fire all the shots at him in the world. And is he dead? Okay, he's dead. Just prepare second grenade. And there we go. Second grenade going down. Right over there. That strikes me as good. Is there anyone down there? He's just fallen over. Finish him off. Right, I'm still found. I'm now out of ammo for this thing. Go over to this. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. 
Oh, bloody, don't find me, don't find me, don't find me. There's totally no one who's throwing those grenades. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh my goodness, I might have just got away with that. I might have actually just got away with that cocking madness. Wait, wait. You've still got a critical. 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 If I move, I think the rest of them are downstairs. Oh, cock me, I've just taken out a bastard in power armor. <laughs> that almost went very wrong. I could have hit myself in the blast so cocking easily as well. And I've kind of burnt all my explosives. But it was worth it. And the brackets are now expand- lovely. Right. Now. How close is everyone else? Because we ain't done yet. Not by a long shot. What have we got so far? Yeah, we should have one injured person at the bottom, two injured scientists, and one dead power armor lad, and you. But there's going to be more yet. But wherever they are, they didn't find me here, so they're probably not at the top. So I've probably cleared out the top floor, and I'm hopefully safe to explore now. Yep. Yeah. Brackets are holding pretty steady for the time being now. What did you... Okay. So, it's not all, you know, roses yet. There's one guy right there. I could crit him in the head, but... Oh, you're holding a flipping plasma thing, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Do I want more drugs to deal with you? Or do I want to crit you in the head? right now. Yeah, for safety I do. Critical. So I want him dead immediately. I just want him out the way. If you're a soldier, I want you dead. Right, more searching. But quite frankly, if you're a soldier and you're full health, I want you to not be here anymore. But I am running low on everything. I'm now out of fusion cells. Um, I'm running low on ammo for the sniper. What was this, by the way? That is just a basic combat rifle one of you had. Alright. Confirmed kills. Two soldiers. Including, yeah, that's your combat rifle. Anything I could potentially... Ooh, some of this might actually be useful. I've got a lightweight combat armor left leg. 12 and 12 for 3.7 weight. 13 and 13, but also muffled for 5. No, I can't take anything that gives me extra. However, there's a bunch of pocketed here. Pocketed on the left arm and the right leg. I've got a heavy combat armor left arm, which gives me 17 and 17, but a weight of 7. 13 and 13, but pocketed at a weight of 4.6. That's such a nice improvement. I'm, yeah, very tempted by the left arm swap out there. And as for the right leg, my right leg is... Yeah, that's 8.8 eight for 4.4, but pocketed. My right leg is a lot better for 6.8. Fine. I will, however, swap out the, the arms, yes. And that's an extra 5 carry capacity right there. Marvellous. Right. Keep on moving forward. I don't think anyone's at the top, because now the brackets are being a lot more calm. Improved, focused, maximized laser rifle... Please tell me I can have the ammo after this. I can. Oh, everything's lovely. But maybe that's better than mine. So I'm 92 damage. That's also 92. Yeah, because they're both maximized. Maximized, improved long, full stock, reflex, fine-tuned beam focuser. Okay. That's the new one versus my existing one. Uh, improved long marksman's... Hang on, what's the difference between Marksman's and Full? Uh, this way 7.2 as well, hang on. 7.2, no, this is, that one weighs less, actually. So that one weighs 6.9, fire rate's 50 as well, range of 239. Uh, versus mine is a little bit less, fire rate's the same, damage is the same. Weight is a little bit higher. Okay, we're going over to it, I suppose. You have served me well, you have... But bye. In fact, here's a baffling thing. I might have just made a flipping profit of ammo of killing a lad in power armor, albeit I had to sacrifice my grenades for it. Right, one more lad here. Ooh. 
Well, you've got some fun stuff, haven't you? Uh, lightweight, no. Military, military fatigues. Now, in theory, I could just take your gun, because I've got plenty of spare weight right now. I could just take that short plasma rifle and use it until the plasma cartridges run out. But more importantly, you've got three bits of pocketed gear, some of which is better than what I've apparently got. I know I shouldn't be getting that excited by the pockets, but I kind of am, actually, yes. So both legs and the right arm. Because right now I've got pocketed shadowed combat armor right arm for 10 and 10, 2.7 weight. That is... Ooh. That's a lot heavier. But it's still pocketed. And... Hmm. No. I think I can do without that. Because it doesn't gain me carry capacity. Uh, but that's... It's 7 and 7 better, but for a lot of extra weight. I'll leave it. I'll take Shadowed. Me not being spotted has already been saving my life quite effectively. So that is 12 and 12, 4.6 weight on the left leg. I've got just light weight. Okay, so also 12 and 12. Slightly lighter, but with action points of 2. Yep, trade it. Trade it all over. And that right leg, meanwhile, weighs 9.3, 16, and 16 pocketed. And my lightweight boiled leather right. Way less energy resistance, but... Screw it. Take it. Just get rid. I'll lose energy resistance, but you very rarely get hit by energy weaponry, quite frankly. So, it doesn't matter so much. And that is actually a full set of pocketed gear at this point. <laughs> Bringing me up to 130. Beautiful. And also very, very nice indeed. Short plasma rifle. Just use it until it's burnt out. Let's just move that over there. Yeah, go over to it. 100 damage. I think it's actually more powerful than anything I've got right now anyway. Right. Let's just quickly scout out the rest of the area. In particular, figure out where everyone else is. Because, yeah, there's someone. Enclave scientist. Could just nail you in the head right now. Probably not a terrible idea to be... Oh! Ah! That's where the lad in the power armor is! He's down dead on the ground, marvellous, with most of his pieces blown off him. Right, okay. And... Right, you're dead. There's at least one more in here. Have a little loop. Oh! That's also a scientist. Okay, can I actually hit you from where I am? Uh, annoyingly, I'm not sure I can. Now he's over there. Can I see him? Oh! Okay, I think now it's nothing but scientists. Now, if it is nothing but scientists... We might be Ooh, surveillance device. Okay, not radios. Intriguing. There's one enclave scientist. I see you. So how about we just do a quick... Just make sure you don't hit the door. And one, two... When I say make sure we don't hit the door, or just hit the door, either is good, either's fine. Actually, if it is just them, why am I wasting ammo? Uh, did I just see you flee into here? Or flee through here? Just... Yeah, there we are. Hello! Um, you're going to die now. So, sorry about this. Right, one more dead scientist. I think one of the first I killed. Blood pack on you. Why not? And then... One enclave scientist. Protectrons that hopefully will not wake up. Hello there. No, 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 no. No, hello. Right, so you just go over here. And we'll just finish you guys off. So everyone just... Ooh, purified water. I'll have that. Thank you. And also... You! Including... Ooh. Well, you're fancy. And you were wearing one of the special things there. More purified water. Nice. Ooh. This might be of use. Oh, 100. <laughs> no, I can do better with just basic power armor. So that's uh, not much point. Now, there's also... Ooh. Perfect. Well, one, sneak better. Two, Coast Guard database passwords. Well, I know exactly where to take that. Yes. Yes, I most certainly do. And, by the way, how are you doing? We've got, ooh, Fusion Cell 9. Very, very nice indeed. Hang on, let's just have a quick look-see at you here. So, uh, lightweight stuff across the board. Pocketed stuff that might be... Ooh, that might be better than my pocketed stuff. Ah, yes, that's the reason I want my pocketed right arm to be worse. It's because it's shadowed, which I do quite like. So, this guy has got himself. How much of this actually survived? 
the T51 torso is, in terms of rad resistance, no better than the one I've already got fitted to my armor. However, the T51 helmet would give me an extra 150 if I plugged that into my suit. So I may as well take that along too. Yeah, you know what? I will take that. I will just plug that onto my suit on the way out. What else do we have here? Anything I need? Uh, no, I think your weapon was left up top, so I think I've already got that. Oh, but there's some addictol. That's nice. Admittedly, I don't really want to get rid of my addiction because I kind of need my addiction. It's kind of useful. There's another blood pack. One thing I didn't realize the comments told me is whenever you do a blood pack, there's a chance you might pick up a disease because you don't know where the blood came from. That does indeed make sense. Right, I'm up to mild dehydration. There's just a chef hat here for no well-explained reason. Marvellous. I'll take the money, leave the rest of it. I think we're okay for the time being. Right, in which case... Time to see what the big mystery is or what the next step of the process is. Because I'm guessing we're heading back to the Coast Guard and for once I actually know where that is and I've already bloody cleared it out. So that's just marvellous. Shutdown initiated, mainframe and power save mode. Okay, maintenance operations here. Uh oh, system reboot. Right, so next up need to take out those bastard protectrons then got it right well in that case what can i do to give myself an edge here you're a guardian you're a basic protectron you'll go down to a few shots no problem however hmm your friends that watch is going to be more difficult let's go and get the power armor in that case also let's just actually put that helmet there marvelous it looks scruffy as balls, but it will now be better. But I've lost all that pocketed gear I used to have. Great. Right, I've just done some eating and drinking and stored my sniper rifle in that there box. So I've actually got enough flipping, uh, yeah, bloody convenient space to actually, you know, move. Which is just marvellous. Also, one nice time saver, of course. I can just jump down here. No problem at all. 310 energy resistance and this here plasma rifle to help me take them out. How quickly can I take them out? That one should be three shots. Uh, more if I could hit the combat inhibitor. And look, I know there's one there, all right? That one's going to be a lot worse. That's... Oh, that's bad. Well, I've got one stupid plan. There's some convenient, yeah, explosive barrel things over there. What if I was to theoretically... Ooh... Well, that's a fun strategy. Hang on, I've still got that one last grenade. Yep, there it flippin' is. One grenade, right there. Could theoretically detonate those, which might do a load of good explosive damage. We might stand a chance, damn it. Except, wait. Maybe I don't actually have to. Let's just quickly think about this here. Because maintenance operations is system reboots. But... These two databases are online, and this one, when I just opened it up, Major Arthur Gannon, that's the guy I think I'm looking for, because that's the guy who wrote the terminal. I might actually be able to skip the robots, which would be lovely, because I don't want to have to take on a bloody Protectron Guardian at the end here. So I'm making good progress in narrowing down the final resting place of the Columbia. Intelligence Officer Bozenski tells me the information I need is likely accessible at the Coast Guard HQ east of here. From there, we can continue on to the ship itself. Recon Squad Delta Epsilon already dispatched with Fire Squad Victor Zulu on standby for the final assault. We're so close. Okay, I don't need the maintenance operations because that is for getting the lift working. I don't want the lift to work. I'm very happy to basically just walk out the way I came in because I think the abandoned shack is closer to the edge of the glowing sea than the elevator brings you out anyway. And number two, Nicholas Gibbs. Nothing major there, just a pre-war note. That might be in the base game. So, we've got our answer, but more importantly, we've got the code. So in which case, I'd say, screw the robots. We absolutely have no need of them whatsoever. I don't want that lift to start working. I don't need it to work. I don't flipping care. Well, I've walked the power armor back upstairs... And tragically, I cannot find, after a bit of a skirt around, a bed here. There are no save points in this area. 
I did have a found, yeah, one 10 millimeter round right there. Other than that, nothing of any note. Those are three eights, but I'm not using those blatantly. I'm not powerful enough. Right. That means the next job is we now need to... <laughs> bloody hell. We now need to make it back out the way we came in through the glowing sea, past all the death claws, past the bear, to actually get back to that cocking motel. And if we can't, we have to do all of this again. But if I did have to do it all again, I could probably do it better, because now I know what I'm actually taking on. I could probably be a lot more ammo efficient. But I'd like to not lose this. This is good progress to, you know, have made. We've got loads of pocketed gear. Now, slight problem is, obviously I'm taking the power armor straight back out again. I kind of want to, you know, take my actual powerful sniper rifle with me, because that thing has saved my life many, many times. So, tragically, the short... Ooh, the short plasma rifle, actually, that weighs 4.7. Okay, if I were to take this... That gets me up to 100 out of 95. I'm not just going to have 5 I can leave behind. That's not going to fly. I'm almost thinking of leaving the sniper rifle here. Because the sniper rifle, while it's damaged 122, I've only got 3 bullets for it. It's my only sniping weapon. And it has saved my life many times. I can't leave that. And I can't leave the suppressed 10mm. Because in day-to-day -day stuff against survivors, that's still doing really well. And the ammo is relatively easy to come by. Like, the ammo for this thing is going to run out pretty soon. And once the ammo for this thing's run out, it's going to be completely... Yeah, leave it. The ammo's going to be worthless soon. Alright. It's a shame. It's a powerful weapon, but there's not enough flipping plasma cartridges in the world to justify it. And that means I can actually get out of here. Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. Right. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'd say that's enough for now. We will kick off next week with a rather stressful run straight back out over the glowing sea. If I can do it faster than I actually did on the way in, which I think I should be able to, because now I just know there's no point in sneaking, the rads are too high, just run. And I've now got the helmet. Now I've got the helmet on. That's an addition, I think, 150 rad resistance, so I should take a few less rads. And I've got more Radax yet, so I can do another dose of Radax. We need to get back to safe territory and then reevaluate where I am because I suspect I'll be up to probably only 40 odd percent of my hit points remaining. I can do a rad away. That'll get me to 70%. That's probably the best I can hope for. Then it's time to potentially head back north. I know where I'm going now, and it is starting to be implied I'm actually getting close. Yeah, I probably want to try and sprint out of the glowing sea, try and make it back to Roadside Pines, drop a save. Then I can probably head directly to the Coast Guard Pier. That's probably the better option, assuming there's nothing too bad on the interchange. I think it's gunners in the base game, so who knows what might be waiting for me there. We know that place is cleared. Hopefully it hasn't regenerated. If it has, I can probably at this point, yeah, with my powerful laser rifle, I can gun down those ghouls without too much problem these days. And then the implication was that terminal would tell me where the Columbia is. And it's going to be, well, I'm going to guess it's actually the Norwegian ship that's, hang on, where's the Norwegian ship? It's like, um, is it here-ish? I think it might be like here-ish or here-ish, I forget exactly. It's the Norwegian ship because there was the mention of Oslo right at the beginning. So blatantly, I'd say it's going to be the Norwegian ship that we're going to have to get to. Because that's also a corner of the map we haven't been to yet, so that would indeed make sense. And also there'll be like some container that's locked uh, or a computer that's locked. And I'll need the password that I get out of the Coast Guard password to get to that. So I'm guessing that's where we're going next. But I'm guessing this bit of the map is going to be a complete flipping nightmare. Though actually we haven't really been sent way up here yet. So in theory it could use like, I can't help but notice like there's a bunch of islands up here that I don't think are really utilised for anything in the base game. So maybe they'll have like, you know, used a boat asset and just slapped it on one of these islands. I have absolutely no clue. We will hopefully find that out next time ladies and gentlemen. In the meantime I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Fallout 4 Frost. Thank you very much and goodbye. Claire, show off what the button packaging does. That's amazing! 25, 50, 100, and then 110 rounds. If you need to rounds. the butter, you just fold the packaging onto the butter and it... I... That's amazing! <laughs> That's such...
such a good idea! See, you always thought to be doing this! Forever. <laughs>